Uh, in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about a very heavily requested video. Um, I've had several people come to me who have been issued a Chrome OS device and ask me how they can get the Microsoft Office app suite installed on there. Uh, after a little bit of trial and error, I do have a solution for this problem. And it's going to involve a lot of policies that are managed at a domain level. So if for, if for example, if you are watching this video and are not a, an employee, the same settings may not apply to you, but this video is primarily directed at people who have issued Chrome device and how to install Office on it. So let's get started right from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to start just basically on my desktop here. And the first thing we want to do is launch the Google Play Store. That's this icon here at the bottom left. It looks like a little play button. If you're having trouble finding that, uh, be sure to let the IT department so that we can help you track that down. Once you launch that, the first thing you're going to see is an approved list of applications. So this list of applications is specifically defined by the IT department as a uh, tested and proven to work list of applications that will run on your Chrome device. There are others as well. And if they're requested, they may get added to this list. But obviously, we're just talking about Office for today. So you'll see that there, the main three Office apps are here. I got Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So if you click on those, you'll actually have the option to install them here. And when you click Install, it's going to actually start downloading. So what I'm going to do is go back and we'll go ahead and install all three of them. And we'll do the last one here as well. Okay, all right, so I've got the download pending there. So you'll see all three of these are listed as installing. So while those are going, um, a couple of things to note. One of them is that if you click on the download status here at the bottom right hand corner, you can actually open up the downloads manager and look at the progress there. And what you're going to need for the next step in this process is your Office 365 account information. Uh, that information will be provided to the primary users of this product via other means. So that's how you're gonna actually activate these products once they're installed. So as soon as Microsoft Word is done, what we'll do is launch it and I'll show you what that first initial part of that looks like. But this is a program, and this is the main request for this, this is a program that can be used offline so when you do not have internet access and you cannot get to the Office 365 web page, for example, these applications will work offline. They will work off of documents that are stored on the local Chromebook storage. And when Wi-Fi is available, it will also sync um, up to SharePoint or to OneDrive uh, cloud storage as well, if you so choose. So you'll see that Word's already installed here. While these other two are installing, let's go ahead and take a look at Word because the experience is the same for the other two. So a couple things you can do when you click on this, um, essentially what is the start menu down here? You, if you click on that, you can actually right click that new app and say pin to shelf and it'll end up down here at the bottom. Once it's down there, you can open it up. It's gonna ask you for permissions to allow you to look at the photos and other files that are on your device if you do wanna open anything that you have there. And it'll ask the same for your contacts as well so that you can actually share things directly with people. So when it comes up, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to plug in your email address that you signed into the Chromebook with. So I've signed in with that training account, which is this one right here. So it automatically plugs that in. Now you do have to have a Microsoft Office 365 account that has been set up. If you're having trouble logging in, it's very likely that you have the wrong password or that you do not have an account at all. So that is the username for my Microsoft Office account. So once I go through that, it's going to then prompt me, and you'll see Excel finished as well. It's going to then prompt me for my password, which I will enter now that's been set up. And you'll see it's configuring Office and it's fetching your files. It's preparing everything that you need for offline use. And once it's done, it's going to bring up a, an interface that you're used to seeing. So you'll see that you have a couple of different choices here. You know, you can, you can work off of OneDrive, you can do several different things. Um, but if you open a blank document, it's gonna look exactly like what you're used to. Okay, if you go to save it, um, you can call it test document. Okay, and you can actually file. Oh, and there goes Excel actually as well. So we're gonna go file. 
And if you go save as, you can actually save it on the device. You can put it in the document storage, test document.docx, save. And there you have it. Test document saved. And if you go to file and you go open from this device under documents, you'll see there it is. So that's locally stored. So you can work on a native Microsoft Office application when offline. You can save information to the device. You can export it. You can open directly from a flash drive. You can do a lot of different things. So as you'll see, I've signed in up here. When you sign in with your account, obviously it will have your account information up there at the top. Now, Excel also went ahead and activated me. Since I already did Word, it, it activated Excel as well. Okay, uh, So you can rename it. You can use formulas and drawing. You can uh, open up anything that you need. If you, if you uh, want to enter some formulas or whatever you need to in these fields, you definitely can. Um, you also have some cloud storage available here. I don't think I have any files that are saved in the OneDrive for this testing account, but if you did, when you clicked on that, they would be available, providing that you're online. If you are not, you will have access to whatever you have available to you offline. So you can look at local device storage. You can add from there. You can add uh, connected cloud storage as well. You can add Dropbox directly if you need to, whatever you might need to do. Uh, you can also browse directly from Google Drive. And I'm going to go ahead and actually try OneDrive Personal. And I'm going to hit back here. So what I want to do is... Let's try it from Excel, actually. So if you go to Browse from Google Drive, um, you can look at recent files. You can pull up um, native Excel documents that are stored in your Google Drive and open them directly in Excel. Now, again, this is more of a preference thing than it is anything else. Um, most people are going to be fine using the Google Apps suite of applications, but I've had several requests for specific people with specific concerns that need access to Microsoft Office native applications. So this is how we achieve that. Uh, you'll see that PowerPoint's also been installed. Once you launch it, uh, you'll notice that since we activated it once through Word already, it is going to configure it. It'll fetch any files that are in the cloud, which again, I don't have any, but if you did, then you would have access to the OneDrive that's tied to your account. But once PowerPoint is open, you'll see you can start a blank presentation. Um, you can take a look at the design and you can look at themes and everything here is still going to be still kind of being loaded as well so as it's being downloaded uh, it, everything will be changed and added you'll see that there's additional options available under open so you can go to file new and you'll see all the different templates for like essays and things like that under this so again that's the the basics of installing office on a chrome os device i'm going to go ahead and close these applications here um, as that information all sinks down do is close this here. Okay, as that information all sinks down, um, it'll prove to be something I think people will find useful. Uh, it allows you to do a little bit of crossover work between Chrome OS and using a Microsoft product. So that's the way that you do that with an offline product. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, this is the IT training video series and stay tuned as we add more and more topics. But if you have any additional questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us